Hey guys, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. We're here back at the main menu, uh, and we're here because I haven't built with the AMD Radeon 7 yet, which was added in the last episode of PC Building Simulator, or the last update in PD, to PC Building Simulator. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and link down in the description back to my kind of overview of what all got introduced in that update, but one of the things was Radeon 7. Um, also, I think maybe the fans are in this case got introduced, maybe? I can't remember. There were some cases, there were some other boards, you know, a few things here and there. So anyway, we're back here because I actually, I'm gonna do a build with the Radeon 7, but I'm not just gonna do a build, I'm gonna do this exact build right here, because I thought it'd be kind of fun. So I think, I think this case is the Corsair Crystal 280X. Uh, and we've got some sort of what looks like a gigabyte uh, micro ATX motherboard. We've got that Aorus RGB RAM, which I've used before. Uh, a Rajin Tech CPU cooler. I think these are all Rajin Tech fans. I can't remember. I can find them. RGB. Um, so we should be able to get pretty much there. Obviously, we don't have the power supply. That's fine. Who cares? And uh, I don't know what CPU is, but I'm going to try to find this motherboard. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go in and I'm going to try to build this exact computer. So here we go. All right, we're loaded up in the Razer Workshop. You can see our build we did last time, the yellow build, the thunder-themed build. Uh, that was a that was a pretty cool one to do. I love that case. The Corsair 380T is very cool. A lot of Corsair cases going on. We've got Corsair there. Obviously, the Obsidian Series 1000D Super Tower. Uh, completely crazy. And we've got our Raging Tech Inyo, which is maybe my favorite case in the entire game so far. Um, I'm going to put this one away since I'm weird and like to keep my super towers out, and, you know, impress my visitors. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this is the 280X. And it must be in black. It looks right though. It's got that kind of side intake. Um, I hope, I hope that's right. I hope that's right. You know what, now I'm feeling like, no, 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 no. That's right. It's right, I have a picture pulled up on my phone. You can't see it, but this is right. Yep. And actually, yeah. Yes, I feel good about this. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this thing apart. This is a pretty cool case. I've actually, I gotta see this one in person. I went to a micro center uh, last weekend and got to see this case and a lot of cases in person. It was great. I was having, I was freaking out. I, I mean, it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I, I, I dragged my brother along with me, and uh, poor, poor guy had to sit through my, my just nerding out about all the, all the awesome PC parts. So, if you guys have never been to a micro center, uh, it's, it's a trip. I recommend it. It's a good time. I'm gonna go ahead and put a power supply equipment we'll to the RM850X from Corsair, which is plenty, plenty. So wait, 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 what was I pulling out? Wow, okay, so there's a lot of drive bays. Cool. So, power supplies in. Let's see if we can track down that motherboard. So this case only fits uh, mini ATX, no, 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 mini ITX and micro ATX motherboards. And the one that I'm pretty sure that was in there was a gigabyte micro ATX motherboard. In fact, I think it was this one, a B450. Or was it a B360? No, I think it was this one. They're very, very similar. Uh, let me, mm, mm, let's see what, okay. There's a heat sink there that I, um, no, it's this one. I can tell because the CMOS battery. All right. Thank goodness I took a picture because it's free. This is a kind of a weird the image like on the PCB just I don't know it just looks weird to me but okay so uh, obviously before 50 we are going to be going with Ryzen and because this is going to be an all AMD build which is great uh, we're gonna go for top of line Ryzen we can fit so I'm guessing 2700x yeah that would be correct okay eight cores 16 threads Wonderful. I am so excited for them to eventually add Ryzen 3000 and the new, um, the new RX, wow, uh, 
How come I can't remember AMD's graphics cards? You know, their new Navi GPUs. The, you know, the, the, the GPU, the, the something, something, 6400, 6400 XT. I can't remember. That's bad. I don't know why I can remember that. Anyway, they're going to add those, I'm sure, and that'll be cool. And also, potentially, RTX Super cards, I guess. You know, we just get another SKU to slam into NVIDIA's GPU product lineup. Why not? Uh, okay, anyway, we're looking for that Raysian Tech cooler. It might be this one. It was RGB. It's hard to tell if this is right. Well, okay, let's. I know it's right. What are my options? Okay, it's not this one. It's not any of the AAOs. It's either these, and it had a ring around it. So I am assuming that is the correct cooler there. Yep. And I, in real life, would never be able to install RAM at this point, which is why you should do that before you put a ridiculous air cooler on your, on your PC. So let's see if it will prevent us. It, it very well may. Uh, it's Aorus RAM. Yep, that is the RAM. I know that because I've used that in several builds at this point. I am going to have to get that CPU cooler off. Ah, you know? You just you got to do things in the right order. It had four 8 gig sticks, 3200 megahertz. That is the only capacity, the only speed available for that RAM in PC Building Simulator, which is fine. It's, it's quite good. And okay. Hello, hello, hello. There you are. Did you what? No. 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 I disagree. You guys literally did it in... Mm. What? Can I... Uh, well, this just proves that PC Building Simulator is rigged. Because I'm... I'm trying to recreate... <sighs> Something they already did. Well... I quit. I'm, I'm looking at the picture, and I'm just like, but, but, okay. that's garbage. That is garbage. That is super weak. This little bit. Is it an issue of like a heat sink? No, that is basically just a fat cooler no matter how you orient it. Oh boy. It's either gonna be left or right. Well, I hate everything. Let's try going this way. I don't think that's going to matter. Yes, go. Install. Install. Thank you. That'll fit. Uh, no, it really won't fit. No, that really won't fit. Well, explain that to me, PC Building Simulator. Did you guys seriously, like, mod the game just to put this cooler on the on this motherboard with that RAM on the loading screen? Because that's... That's a lot of work. I, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, that's a lot of, that's a lot of work. I guess we're going to do two sticks in the third and fourth slot, which kills me because that would not be dual channel. But if that's how she be, then I guess that's how she be. That's, I'm going to show you guys. We'll, I'll, sh I'll put the picture in there if I haven't already. Um, so you can see it is, you know, great graphics don't come. they definitely did it. And I'm sure that I'm using this in motherboard. I feel pretty good about that. Okay, well, fun. Let's go ahead and swap out the fans. It looks like the case fans they're using. Um, are they these? No, 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 no. Um. They have, like, a pretty good frame, sort of? Gosh, this is really hard to tell. Do 
do do do do do do Actually, you know, maybe it's this. What? How is this a conflict? What? How? How is that con? Ooh. I'm losing it, guy. I'm lo I'm. I'm. Lo I'm losing it. I think that 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 those are the fans. Dude, why is nothing lining up in my build like it isn't there? This is the right case. Something's rigged. Something's rigged, boys. Maybe I'm wrong. Like, you guys have to let me know if I'm just totally dumb and I picked the wrong case. Or, I mean, it looks, it looks right. Feeling like it's right. Okay, Iris 14s. Ooh, actually, you know what? I think they did 120s. Which would explain... That would explain that a little bit. I could have... I might do 140. Eh, maybe I should do 120s. Iris? Iris? Wait, where's the Iris? Oh. It's weird, it throws me off because they're blue. Okay, so... Alright, we're gonna do it exactly like the, like, the, like the build at the start. So that means I'm gonna do 120s. 140s would, you know, give you a little bit of cooling, but it's also kind of weird looking, so. One, can I put this in? Of course. That is the right, it was definitely the right fans. I, I mean, maybe, maybe? Ooh, you know what? I'm second guessing it now, because the hub doesn't look the same. Oh boy. Dude, what, what are they? If they aren't those, there's something very close. Okay. All right, it took me like seven tries, but those, I, I swear this time, those are the correct fans. And I get to remove the CPU fan again because apparently it's not a clearance, so that's fun. No, wait, that doesn't look right. Didn't they have more spaced out? Nope, they didn't. Okay, cool. That's all the right fans, good deal. Get the CPU cooler put on really quick. Again, for the third time. <laughs> for those of you guys playing along at home, yes, it's the third time we've installed it. Okay, so those are all the right fans. It's looking good, except for the RAM, which is rigged, and I hate you. PC building simulator for that. I don't need you. I love you, I really, I really love you. All right, Radeon 7, Radeon. Seven. Let me guess, this GPU is not gonna fit in the case, right? Oh my gosh, please don't do this to me. I was like, dude, I, I, I will quit. I will quit. You guys will never see another video of this ever, ever again. Thank goodness. All right, kaboom. There she is, the Radeon 7. My first time using it. I think I am gonna run a benchmark on this build just because we got a new GPU. It'd be kind of fun to see where it comes in stock. So, um, that's all the bits we need. We can, of course, add some hard drives back here if we'd like. I actually wanna see if there's room for two and a half inch drives. Or if I have to put those drive caddies back in. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Let's put these back in. Boop. 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 Okay, oh, okay, so this is two and a half inch, that's three and a half inch. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Let's do it. Let's just get like maybe a couple in there. Just because it's kind of fun to have some extra drives going on. I don't want you. I don't want I don't want you. No. There's like a lot of things overlap in here. There we go. Hope I got the right one. I might just click the same one. Nope. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. In, 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 there. Wow, that was okay. Cool. I think we can go ahead and put the back panel back on. So we got solid back panel, a little bit of dust filtration. 
this one? No, nope, that was wrong. This one? No, again, wrong. Oh, probably the one that's landscape. Huh, okay, cool, there you go. Nice. Cool. Front put back together. And our front glass panel. Front, front, hello. Looking good, okay. So, I think we're happy with that, right? Yes, the RGB looks quite bad. We can fix that. They just went with all red, which makes plenty of sense. Power cycle. That CPU cooler is pretty cool. I mean, it better be cool because it's knocking out too soft a ramp with me, so. Seems like it should be pretty awesome. All right, like I said, we're gonna benchmark this. So we'll just throw a couple things on there. I'm gonna quick just drop in and overclock, or you know, get our RAM up to the XMP settings. I don't even know how much that affects. Oh, it's so touchy sometimes. Uh, I don't even know how much the RAM speed affects 3D Mark in this game. It does definitely affect it in real life. Okay. RAM speed, RAM OC, XMP, 3200 speed. Okay. Apply and restart. Okay. Good deal. So, in the build we saw on this, the front screen, really just all the RGB was solid red. Imagine that. that that's, is that red? That. Boom. There you go. That's pretty much what it looked like. Except with the panels on. And then our side panel. Kaboom! That is pretty much, I mean, no, not, that is a, a perfect duplicate, except I didn't do red cables. Uh, okay, I gotta stop with the red cables really quick, because, come on, we're trying to do a build. I mean, I, I, I gotta I got copy it, so let me swap this out quick. Okay, we got our red cables. Much better. I feel better, at least. Cool. It looks just like, just like the build at the start. All right, let's just give it a quick three more. Actually, I want to see what idle times are like. Not that I don't even know how this game calculates anything, but 32C idle on the GPU. Stress test it quick. I'm curious to see what the GPU will do for us. Or wait, does this only stress the... No, 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 this only stresses... Oh, no, okay, 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 okay. It stresses both. 55C on a Radeon 7? Hmm, must not be much of a stress test. 80C on the 2700X, though. Obviously, that Ragen Tech cooler ain't doing a whole lot for us. I mean, it's okay. My overclock is 98%, which is meaning what? It's throttling? Original, 4350. Current, 4300. It's actually throttling. What? I didn't know that could even happen. That's kind of cool. Yeah, okay. Well, let's go ahead and run it through 3 mark, and we'll just see what kind of score we get. Okay, so... Uh, Overall, we got a 8,642, but really what I want to focus on here is the graphic score. So the AMD Radeon 7 pulled a graphic score of 8,588. So I want to compare that to a couple other systems with single GPU. So again, 8,588. This is a single 1080 Ti, air-cooled, 8,696. So we're seeing the Radeon 7 performing a little bit lower than a 1080 Ti, which is about right, because you know when they when AMD released the Radeon 7, Radeon 7, they said it would be about an RTX 2080 performance, and the 1080 Ti really is about an RTX 2080 performance, minus ray tracing, which really is a factor in this test at all. Um, also over here we have a single GTX 1070 overclock. This is actually this was my computer. I tried to build my computer. Um, so go back and check the video if you want. So we can see how pathetic my GPU does compared to those ones. 5,749. Someone send me a graphics card, please. Hello? Anybody? GPU? Gra okay, anyway. So this obviously does quite a bit better than 1070, which is not surprising. This is, what, like an $800 GPU? Um, but it's really about 1080 Ti and probably worse than an RTX 2080, which is kind of why they say like the AMD Radeon 7 is sort of not a great graphics card to buy for the most part. So 
there you go. Um, hopefully that was interesting and you guys liked getting to see it benchmarked. And uh, hopefully you guys agree. It looks like the original PC we saw at the start menu. So go ahead and you can see the picture in the top left there. Um, let me know how you guys think I did. And if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this one. And thank you so much for watching this one. I will see you in the next video. See ya.